Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It is currently quarter to midnight on June 7th, 2018, and I am just getting this vlog in under the wire. Uh, I say that only because I've repeatedly said that I'm trying to get one of these in per day, and uh, even though time is almost out officially on this particular day, I, I think I just made it. Uh, since I talked to you guys last, I know I, I put out a video earlier today, but that was actually recorded a couple of days ago. I'm still a little behind on those uh, shorter videos, but uh, I'm trying to put a, at least one of those out a day along with the vlog. Uh, but since I since I left, uh, last, left yeah, geez, I'm okay. Since I last left you guys last night, uh, things have been uh, much better. Uh, still, unfortunately, have not get gotten to talk to or see the kids through video or anything um, although the wife has been extremely apologetic today and texting me constantly um, so yeah it's uh, one more day of that unfortunately one day without the kids one more day without the kids and you know I guess uh, we'll have to deal with that when they get back home in a few days um, but other than that after uh, after we recorded yesterday Murder Dog and I uh, turned right back around from, you know, we were down near uh, down near Jones Beach at that little green island thing, wherever it was we stopped off and recorded that video, and we ended up just going back and going back to our park that we, you know, our, our new waterfront property, we hung out at the dog park a little bit longer, and ended up uh, turning in, I guess, uh, relatively early, I think we set back set back up shop down in marina around like 10 10 o'clock and just ended up watching another movie i don't even remember what i watched last night i just threw something on just kind of hung out and tried to take my mind off of uh you know how depressed i was feeling earlier about not seeing my kids and whatnot um oh that's right before we did that we actually went on another scop shopping excursion we uh the jet boil fuel the jet powered bupate uh Isobut was it isobutane propane mix uh, canister that uh, my friend Lori had given me is starting to run low because I've used it a bunch already. I wanted to order more of that specific brand. Unfortunately, I can get them through Amazon, but there's no Prime delivery on them, so they wouldn't get here until sometime at the earliest, the middle of next week. And I didn't think I could wait that long, so I went to the local Walmart. Unfortunately, they don't carry those, but they carry the Coleman version of of that of the uh, that mixture. So I bought a couple of those, and uh, we'll test those out in the next day or so. I, you know, they should be very similar from what I read. You know, nobody seems to have any issues with them. So hopefully that'll work out. Uh, the other thing I did purchase there, which is something I, I mentioned uh, a couple of videos back. I don't even remember when, but uh, you know, when I learned that you cannot let the uh, electric cooler run on the accessory on the car, I had mentioned that it'd probably be a good idea to have a jump pack. So I went to go pick one of those up as well. Luckily, there was apparently a sale that wasn't marked on the shelves because the unit I picked up said it was $99, you know, ninety nine ninety eight, whatever, basically $100. And I figured, okay, I'll spend the money on this one because it also has the air compressor. So in case I have an issue with my tires while I'm out here, that will be helpful too. And then when I got up to the counter, I, I first I, I heard the woman wrong. I thought she said it was ringing up as $167, and I, I almost lost my uh, shit because I was like, well, I'm not paying $167 for that. And she corrected me and said, no, no, it's $67. Is that okay? And I said, is that okay? It's That's like $30 less than it said on the ticket, so absolutely that's okay. So we got a sale on that, so that was nice. And also picked up some Allen wrenches because uh, I've run into a couple of problems where I could have definitely used Allen wrenches out here. And unfortunately, like an idiot, I packed up all my tools in the uh, storage unit, including my multiple sets of Allen wrenches that I normally have around. So, you know, I think it was like a dollar ninety eight for the, the the one set they had that had the metric and the uh, what is it English U S whatever. Um, <laughs> Uh, measurements. So, you know, two bucks, I figured I'd pick those up and have those too. So that was good. Definitely uh, needed all of those things. And then we went back and set up for the night and I watched my movie. Then this morning we woke up, actually slept in till seven, which, you know, still sleeping in for us because we're normally up at six, although we did sleep in till eight the day before. But anyway, 
Uh, got up at seven. It was kind of cold and cloudy and yucky out. So yoga seemed to be out of the uh, out, out out of the realm of possibility today. And since I had that one job I had to take care of, and I was going to try to head up state uh, shortly after I finished that job, I figured we would just get moving. So we had her over to the dog park. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our new friends that are usually there in the morning were leaving as we were getting there because we were running a little behind. So Murder Dog and I only hung out there for a little bit this morning so she could do her business. And then she was quickly ready to go. And uh, we took off, went to uh, the cat's house to go take care of them, which, of course, also meant that I could get a shower again, which was spectacular. Um, it's, it's amazing how much you realize you miss hot showers, at least somewhat regularly, when you finally get to have one again. And after we were done with that, I had to go about making sure we had everything ready to uh, take a little drive, you know, fill up the gas tank, make sure the tires tires were okay, uh, upload whatever we could upload while we had some Wi-Fi, and, you know, take Murder Dog out for one last walk, and then hit the road. And that we did. And now that I am recording this, as it's almost midnight, uh, I am upstate at my buddy Craig's place. Uh, you know, as, as I mentioned, he was nice enough to invite me up here to, to let me hang out if I wanted to. So since we still have to wait till sometime Tuesday afternoon to see the kids again, and once work was done, we actually had no ties to the local area until the kids return, figured we would take a chance and uh, come up here and hope and hang out for a few days. And we drove, I think it was like almost four hours, and uh, probably should have been shorter, but uh, like an idiot, uh, I was uploading all this stuff this morning, totally forgot to make sure that I had all of my podcasts uploaded as well, and you know, and half an hour to a drive, I finished the podcast I had and realized, oh, you forgot to download the rest of those, idiot. So at one of the rest stops along the way, I attempt, because they all offer, all the signs all say, oh, free Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi, so... I attempted to stop at one of them and use the Wi-Fi to upload, you know, to download some of the podcast. Unfortunately, because I'm sure they throttle the the speeds there because so many people are trying to use it. After like 20 minutes, I had only po- downloaded like two and a half of my shorter podcast, and I just gave up and said, "Screw it, we'll listen to music the rest of the way." And and we actually made it a rather pleasant day listening to Jimmy Buffett the whole way up. And uh, you know, for those of you who don't know, I am along. You know, I may not seem it. You know, if you don't know much about me, if you're just, you know, learning about me through these videos or maybe the podcast I do, I know I'll, I, I know I'm often classified as an angry guy, a rather a aggressive guy. Jimmy Buffett may not fit with that for most of you, if you even know who Jimmy Buffett is. But yeah, he is one of my, he's what I refer to as my happy music. I've been a huge fan. My dad uh, used to play, my dad only, my dad actually only ever owned Jimmy Buffett's greatest hits, which came out sometime in the early 80s. And that was in the rotation of the cassettes he used to play when we were in the car with him. And it wasn't until years later that my sisters and I, when we became fans on our own, realized that, number one, Dad wasn't actually a huge Jimmy Buffett fan. He really only owned that one album. And even though it was only one album, he never even played the entire thing for us because the song Let's Get Drunk and Screw... He never wanted to play for his kids, so because that was back in the day of cassettes where you could fast-forward through those things, he fast-forwarded through that song every time, and we never even knew it existed until years later. But, you know, eventually we figured it out, and then we realized why he was trying to hide this from us, even though it's a really fun song. but So, yeah, I've I've been a huge power dad ever since. I mean, my first, it was like 96 maybe? Jeez, that was, God, that was a long time ago, 22 years ago. That was uh, That was my first Buffett concert where I went with uh, my now estranged sister and her boyfriend at the time and had a, an amazing time. And then I proceeded to go back and see him every year, at least once a year for the next decade, I think. And yeah, like I said, if, whether you know, if, if you know Buffett or not, if you're a fan or not, whatever, I don't care. I love him. He, he makes me happy. So yeah, we, Murder Dog and I were rocking along, listening to that on the way up here. And then, uh, <clears throat> I, I was singing along, despite my voice, which you may be able to tell is still a bit off uh, from you know what ha- you know with all the stuff last week with all the screaming and crying and miserableness I had earlier in the week, and then because of the stress and anxiety, I've uptake uh, I've upticked in my uh, cancer stick smoking, and I've been doing like a pack and a half a day, which is just so not good. But I've been chain smoking a lot because I've been just stressed out and anxious. 
Uh, starting to get a little better. I'm feeling a little better now, so I'm not smoking as much, but my voice is still torn up from that. And I know the only way to really fix it is to, well, just stop smoking those stupid analog cigarettes and give my day, a, give my voice a couple of days of rest. But I like to talk too much and I can't, I uh, can't do that. So we'll have to just work around it, um, you know. And on that note, uh, actually, you know, once I got up here to my buddy's Craig's house, it was, you know, it was great to see him. Haven't actually seen him in a while. We talked through Telegram and stuff, but it's the first time I've seen him since, uh, geez, last year, was it? He came down to my place and left his dogs with me for a night. And uh, so it was great talking to him and hanging out with him. And then his wife came home for when she, she was out and she came home and uh, her and I, like, you know, barely know each other but we ended up getting into a full ed full out debate and screaming match at one point uh about the anarchy and the possibilities and all this stuff and it was it actually ended up being a really fun conversation craig actually recorded some of it i think that he put up on a telegram uh, telegram chat but he missed he missed a lot of the good stuff where we were going at each other back and forth although at, at, at the end i did make sure to ask her if we were still okay and you know she assured me that she wasn't taking anything personally and of course neither was i so we actually had a rather rousing and exciting discussion um so that was a lot of fun Got to uh, got to have a few beers with Craig, which uh, you know I don't drink a lot anymore. But heck, after the, after the drive and the week I had, it was nice to kick back and have a few brews. And uh, then he uh, barbecued up some ribs for us, which of you know he kept trying to apologize because he had burnt some of them. But I tried to explain to him that this was the first actual meat I have eaten uh, since before I left my house over a week ago because you know I've had like the beef stew stuff that I made from the prep food. Um, and I ate, you know, I ate Taco Bell one night just cause I was really hungry and didn't feel like making anything. And I've had a couple of, uh, 7-Eleven, you know, stuff, you know, different sandwiches from 7-Eleven here or there, which have some kind of quasi meat on them, but, uh, burnt or not, uh, ribs were delicious. And, uh, it was nice to have that type of food again, <laughs> cause it, it's been a while. So that was great. And now, I mean, I came up here planning on either just continuing to sleep on the car or go to his, uh, larger property that he owns just camping out but they just offered to put you know to let me crash on the couch tonight with murder dog there so we're probably going to take that opportunity uh just to sleep inside again tonight will you know be nice and uh yeah our plan is to hang out here uh tomorrow and then head back sometime on tuesday so we can see the kids and the wife when they finally get back and yeah that's uh that's about it um, I'm, I'm going to keep this one pretty short because, like I said, it's almost midnight and I may not even get this one un in under the wire with posting it. Uh, we'll, we'll see once I finish recording and try to get inside and use the Wi-Fi to, to upload it. So it may be a minute or so late, but at least I got the recording done before midnight uh, because, like I've said this whole time, I, I really am trying to get one of these done every day uh, for multiple reasons. So I just wanted to make sure I ran out to the car really quick and recorded this. And uh, then we're going to head inside and probably pass out because I think uh, Craig and his family are ready to go to bed. And, yeah, it's been a, it's been a long day, and we're kind of beat anyway. four-hour drive kind of takes a lot out of you. So, you know, it's uh, probably about bedtime. But, like I said, I did want to make sure I got this in, and especially because I, I, I tried to impart on folks so many times that, you know, if you don't hear from me, you know, check up on me, make sure I'm okay. So... I wanted to make sure everybody knew I was okay since the only video from today was from a couple of days ago and that could have very easily just been scheduled to be uploaded um, instead of actually posted when I did when I did so this morning. So Murder Dog and I are all right. We are uh, upstate in New York hanging out with our buddy for a couple of days and uh, hopefully we can continue to keep our mind off the fact that we miss the uh, kids so much and you know even though it's now been over five days since I've been able to see their little faces in anything other than pictures, and that sucks horribly, it does mean that there's only a couple days left before they finally come back. So we will get to see them soon, and uh, you know, then the, the wife and I will have some talks to have. But, you know, anyway, at least they'll be back, and I'll, I'll know where they are, and uh, I'll be a little happier about that. And then, you know, once they get back, we're only uh, a little over a week or so away after that from uh, heading out again, and all of us, supposedly, hopefully, uh, heading to Michigan for the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. So looking forward to that as well. But anyway, oh, I hear Murder Dog gro groaning in the back. Don't worry, Murder Dog. We're going to go We're gonna go back inside. You're going to get to sleep in a house tonight. I'm no, I know you're happy about that. Uh, 
my buddies that got two dogs up here who actually you know we we, we know because they stayed with us for for a night uh last year or so um and uh they were they were a little worried because one of them's a little territorial but they've actually been get, all, all been getting along really well so that's great and uh yeah so thank you everybody for listening and watching uh once again as always i do appreciate the support support comments and uh everything you guys keep throwing my way to help me out with this experience definitely makes things easier on us and makes us feel good that you know people actually care so please keep those things coming and I will try to remember to message this, but Graham, Graham, if you happen to watch this one, buddy, um, Tuesday morning should be good to go. Uh, just give me a time. And, uh, since I, since I have a good Wi-Fi connection here at, at my buddy's house, shouldn't be an issue doing a live stream with you, my friend. So I definitely, uh, definitely want to come on and talk to you. Um, and I appreciate the, uh, offer to, uh, you know, have me on your show and, do so, you know, hopefully promote my blog, my blog a little bit. So definitely appreciate that, man. So if you watch this one, uh, yeah, let's let's do it Tuesday morning. I'm ready to go, man. Just just give me a time and we'll work it out. Um, other than that, yeah, things are good. They're as good as they can be. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Abolitionist Jay out. Peace.